what next? The protesters say the president and the prime minister must resign and that parliamentary elections should be announced so that there is a democratically elected government. The family is what they are fed up of, is what one of the protesters told us. Chaturanga also explained the process to us if things move in the right direction. Elections will be called and these will be presidential elections. Now, what? Uh, how does it really work essentially? Yeah, so what will, what will initially happen is it will, it will uh, most likely be the appointment of the uh, president and, and uh, with, the, with the majority in parliament, a uh, new prime minister will be appointed and all party government will be appointed and they will run for a short time frame. Uh, this new government will run for a short time frame and there will be a general election that will be called and following that there will be a presidential election. Pictures from outside the Prime Minister's house. Ranil Vikramasinghe, where protesters have gathered and chaos and mayhem is witnessed as always on the streets of Colombo. What we've been seeing since Saturday demands that the President resign and the Prime Minister resign. They don't want Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe to take over as the President. Remember, Sri Lanka has been witnessing the worst kind of economic crisis that has snowballed into a political one with a lot of anger against the current political dispensation. What does this really mean as far as the political stability of Sri Lanka is concerned? And how far will some amount of stability on the political front help the country restore the economic situation which has been in doldrums for weeks and months together with angry Sri Lankans having to brace the worst kind of inflation. Basic necessities which have been out of reach of the people of Sri Lanka for weeks and months together. Dear Gashas have been used at the protesters. I'm going to try and go across once again to my colleague to promote Madhu for more details on that. Also, if Shashi Dhanatunge is with us, former bureaucrat, I'll try and ask a question to him as well if I could get an update on that front too. Okay, these are visuals in fact from Prime Minister Ranul Vikramasinghe's house. Emergency has been declared on the as what the Prime Minister's office has said after the President pled to the Maldives is what we are learning. Sri Lanka continues to be crippled by an economic crisis, political instability in, this, in the country in fact that has been racing, that has been seeing the worst kind of economic crisis for weeks and months together. Pictures in fact on your screen are from Colombo, the capital city of Sri Lanka where protesters have been tear gassed right outside the house of Prime Minister Ronald Vikramasinghe, where they tried to storm into, try to get inside the house of Ronald Vikramasinghe. They want that he too should be resigning and that he must not take over 
as the president because that essentially is the procedure. Sri Lanka has been crippled by the worst kind of economic crisis and political instability continues. Protesters demand that both the Prime Minister and the President resign by 1 o'clock today is what they say. They do not want Ranul Vikramasinghe to take over as the President. That is something that they are absolutely against given that the Prime Minister has actually been handpicked by President Gotabaya Rajapaksa who's fled to the Maldives.